Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. I um, am posting a little bit late today because I had a busy weekend. I had a busy weekend the past two weekends. I normally don't have a life um, so yeah I'm a little late but um, better late than never. So I am going to bring you my top five reasons why I feel like you should not date while you're separated i.e. you're still married but you and your spouse are somewhat not together you've you know made steps towards divorce or you're not living together you know however you define separated but you and your spouse are no longer together and um you know is it okay to date other people or is it not okay to date other people um i am going to tell you i don't think it's okay and so i'm going to give you my top five reasons why so reason number one why i think that you shouldn't date when you're just separated from your spouse is because I mean if you think about like all the messy situations you can get into um, you know if your spouse is still you know pining over you or you know they're still calling they're still trying to get you back or whatever obviously they're gonna feel some type of way if they know that you're dating somebody else so that gets really messy and people kill people um, I think that should have been probably one of my reasons um, but yeah I mean like jealousy is real and people kill people over stuff like this so um, I do think that you know the emotions are really really high and it's just so messy when you're dating somebody and then too you know if you think about the type of person that would date you while you're separated I mean that's another thing and another red flag you have to think about because it's like where's their mentality at if you know someone isn't strong enough and i've been the type of person that's had to be strong enough in the past and you know people will tell me oh i'm separated is that cool um no 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 it's not sir um mm -mm. you know because it's just too messy and i don't have time for that in my spirit so so number two, which I already just said a little bit about, is that, you know, it definitely can hurt your spouse. Even if your spouse doesn't want you back, I mean, it's just kind of um, disrespectful, I guess. You know, that's what, um, you know, men think like women are just not supposed to cheat because, you know, it's ten times worse if a woman cheats, you know, than a man. So, you know, men just take it way overboard. Like, I can't believe she did that. You know, and you're thinking, well, hey, he, you were cheating on me the whole time we were married. But men are like, you know, it's different for a guy. You know, I hate all those double standards and things like that. Um, I mean, the only point I will make in this is that, you know, it's just not worth hurting somebody else over. And so why not wait? You know, I mean, if that person is here now, that person would be, you know, there if it's meant to be once you're divorced. So number three, um, I mean, I just feel like relationships should be open and honest and um you know i'm not perfect and i'm definitely going over these reasons for a reason because like with all my other videos i've talked about i've been there um i don't really feel like you can accurately tell somebody i know how you feel unless you know how they feel you know you've walked a mile in their shoes so to speak you've been there personally um so i just feel like oh it's just it tears you up inside i think a little bit when you can't be open and honest about your relationship with you know another person because when you're married it's taboo for you to come out even though i've seen some people on facebook <laughs> come out with their new bays and um i'm like Mercy just married two weeks ago with your husband and you're posting pictures with your husband. You know, um, but that's none of my business. 
I'm gonna be like Kermit. Um, but yeah, like it's just so stressful. Um, I think it's just the only word I can think about is, you know, for you not to be able to be open and honest, you know, you don't, I mean, you might, you know, share it with like some of your friends or whatever that you really trust, but it's like, how are your friends really going to look at you? Like when you're doing something like that, I mean, how can they be like, oh, is he nice? Oh, is he sweet? Oh, is he cute? Oh, does he have money? Oh, you know, they can't. I mean, it's just one of those situations where people don't really even want to get too involved with it and they don't even want to give you advice about it either because it's like, you know, if they're your friends, you know, they want to support you. But at the same time, no friend wants to support someone doing something bad, um, you know, regardless, you know, even if your husband was a cheater or whatever, you know, or your wife was a cheater, it's just like still two wrongs that make a right and that sucks because you know being a spouse that was cheated on i want to be like look i should be able to do what i want you know why should he care you know whose business is it i feel like i'm completely vindicated in how i feel and yes yes i am however you have to live with yourself at the end of the day and so if you can't have an open and honest relationship and you can't have the kind of relationship that you just want to share with the world, um, then it's like, why would you want to get into it? You know, um, there's just, there's no way around there being a certain amount of deception in a relationship when one person is separated and the other person is, you know, I don't know single or maybe they're separated too you know like I don't know you know there's all kinds of situations you could be in you know the per both of you could be separated or there's one of you is separated or you know hey maybe you're just cheating you know maybe the person's cheating on their wife and they're not even separated but you know you're separated and it's like oh my god like <sighs> it's just it's just way too messy like if you really really sit there and think about just all these little scenarios that can go on you know the wife's calling while y'all are you know together or the husband's calling and it's like it's just too much you know like why 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 make your life worse than it is you know if you're separated that's already stressful enough i know when i was in divorce and i was separated like i felt like I told my mom, like I was like in tears this one day and I was talking to her. Um, I can't remember her exact conversation, but you know, we had gotten off the phone and then she called me back and she's like, well, you know, I just wanted to just tell you something. I, I can't remember, but she just wanted to kind of just follow up on something that she had just told me. And I like literally broke down and I was like, I feel so empty and I boohoo ugly cry. <laughs> I was living in Georgia still and I was separated from my family um, my immediate family my extended family lives in Atlanta um, however you know my support team um, you know separated from us my friends as well and so I just tell you it's just a very 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 messy and empty time and um, just to add another component to it I'm telling you it's just it's not cool um it is better just to wait just wait 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 it's, it's okay like you know there'll be plenty of men if you wait another month or two like i promise so number four is actually going to kind of be similar to my number five um but my number four is the fact that you just need time after you get divorced to figure your life out to map out what's next to, to have a plan you know for you to go into another relationship after you've just been through a traumatic experience I mean I feel like you know being married and then being separated and going through a divorce is a pretty traumatic experience I mean um, I mean I can name more traumatic experiences than divorce however I mean some people just legit don't get over their divorce and I'm just a lucky one I really am just so thankful because <laughs> Like, I literally, like I said in my last video, like, I feel like it was a dream. Like, I feel like being married, everything I went through was like a dream. It's like, I know what happened to me and I can feel it in my soul when I really take the time to think about it. Um, 
but I don't live with it every day and some people live with it every day and never get over it and you know never find anybody else or you know whatever and it's just so sad um but I think that that's you know still a testament to what I just said is that you have to give yourself time you have to grieve and you have to get over it and you have to move on you know, but that's not going to happen with somebody else. All you're going to do is just bring your garbage to the next relationship. Another thing about that, um, for you ladies, just a tip, a pro tip, is that men will sometimes take advantage of the things that you say to them. And um, someone told me this because someone did this to me and after, you know, just being so confused and stressed out and you know trying to get this person to like communicate with me um they basically told me that they used my words against me so they essentially tried to do everything that my husband wasn't doing on purpose just to like reel me in and that was just pretty devastating that's horrible to to think that somebody would literally do that that someone would take your pain and you know turn it around so that they could gain something from it and i know that happens all the time so i really shouldn't be shocked um but just in case you know you're thinking that's a a myth that men wouldn't really do that you know why would he do that to me you know, that's what we think because we're just so trusting and dumb that, you know, we're going to think that, you know, no, he really does care. He wouldn't do that to me, you know, and in a perfect world, men don't lie. Men don't cheat. Men don't try to scam women and, you know, there's a zero divorce rate. Um, but we live in 2018 and none of those statements are true. Um, men lie and they lie a lot and they lie well, um, unless you know what to look for. Um, you really have to pay attention to red flags. And so definitely do not let yourself get fooled by the fact that, you know, if you're separated and someone else swoops in, slides in your DM or whatever you want to call it, um, don't be fooled by it. Um, I mean, that's why you need to take this time. You really need to have a fresh start. You really need to think about what you're going to do differently. Like, what is next for you? You know, not what's next for you in another relationship. Because you have to take time. Like, there's just no way that you can go into a healthy relationship after the trauma of a divorce. Number five is... I think the biggest thing and um, I did not get this at the time however it is completely like front and center now like I, I completely wholeheartedly understand this next statement to be completely true um, God, no matter how much you want to tell yourself, if you're out there and you're separated, um, you're going through a divorce, whatever, God will not bless your relationship with someone else while you're still married. And that is really a hard pill for most people to swallow because you feel, like I said earlier, you know, if you were cheated on and now you're dating someone, you feel like you deserve this. You deserve this person that came into your life while you were divorced or while you were separated. You deserve him. You should have him. He makes you happy. You know, he makes you laugh. He tells you he loves you. He hugs you. He touches you. He gives you all the affection and love that you feel like you're spouse wasn't giving you he or she it's a trap <laughs> it's a trap dog like it's a trap like warning like red alert like full red alert you know if you feel like you've met the perfect person while you're separated i'm not one 
to call things the devil. However, <laughs> I really do think that you should look long and hard at this person and really get to the heart of them and their true intentions towards you. Um, because I just really, with all my heart and for myself and for other relationships that I've seen my friends get into, is that God will not bless your relationship with someone else while you're married. And why, Reese? Why do you ask? Because it is against his word. And even if you married the wrong person, God recognized that you got married to them and you're still married to them. And, you know, there's actually certain reasons in the Bible where it says that you can get divorced for, you know, where he granted, you know, people to be able to have a decree, decree of divorce. And there's actually only a couple reasons. It's really hard, like I said, to be in this type of situation you're dating somebody and you're separated or you're dating somebody and they're separated i know how easy it is for you to be fooled by this type of thing because you feel like you just might have met mr or mrs right while you're separated and you feel like it might be divine intervention like it was just meant to be um <laughs> But like I said, I really feel like it's a trap. I mean, it's from my experience um, and from what I've seen from my friends, it never works out. It just doesn't. And what makes it so bad is that it usually exacerbates the situation you're already in with your spouse. It usually makes you feel worse and more lonely and more defeated and downtrodden i mean if you're over here and you have a spouse and then you're over here and you have a boo thing you know two people stressing you out now i mean that doesn't make for a good situation you know just uh, all the things that i said before you know my one through four the deceit the lying the scheming the you know everything that it entails when you're separated and you know because Who's gonna be like, oh, hey, look at my new boyfriend? You know, some people might do that. Um, some crazy people. <laughs> I mean, I don't really, you know, um, announce when I'm sinning. Um, however, other people, you know, might. But my point is, is that, you know, it goes against what God says about marriage for you to think that He's gonna bring you the person of your dreams while you're still separated you know definitely just take the time that you need to get to know yourself again to regroup to find out what your own goals are apart from somebody else and you know just take time to understand my bad um my battery light came on but um just take time to understand the fact that if it's meant for you to be with another person, if it's meant for you to be married again, if it's meant for you to date again, you know, God's already in control of all of that. And I am a very impatient person. Um, I have really bad anxiety, so waiting's not my virtue. Um, however, I really started this channel because I want to be able to share my experiences with other people. And so I wouldn't try to say anything that I hadn't already gone through. And from personal experience, it's just, you know, God's not going to recognize this relationship. And waiting for the right timing, waiting for God's timing, waiting for the man God has for you, this time is really, truly important. And um, it's human nature for us to get ahead of God. And I... Um, would like to say that I've learned my lessons about doing that, but it's a struggle all the time um, still. So um, I hope <laughs> and pray that this reaches somebody and maybe touches somebody because I wish, you know, I would have had somebody when I was going through my divorce to tell me these kinds of things and just to be real and, you know, share the heart of 
issues with me you know it's one thing to talk to people about your situation and then try to give you advice or whatever but you know for somebody to be open and honest and share like the inner workings of your heart when you're going through something like this is what I'm trying to do and so just you know be smart choose wisely be patient and wait on God and um, it's easier said than done um, but who wants you know to have a heart that's just utterly in pieces I feel like dating while you're separated is likely going to be something that you regret and it could cause a lot of turmoil for you and other people involved um, so it's not cool just say no so I hope that you enjoy this video and that you will share it because you never know what other people in your life are going through and so this might help and bless and speak to someone else um, if you feel like this is you or you have a similar experience or you just have a follow-up question definitely leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up for this video and um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and again please share my videos so that they can reach and teach and help other people. Um, again, I can't stress enough. I mean, we never know what's going on in the lives of our friends and our families. And so my objective is to definitely help other women um, my age and younger, older, whoever needs it. <laughs> um, I feel like God will definitely press things on our hearts at the right times. And um, so I took some time to jot down these um, couple things that I really hope will speak and minister to someone's life and help them to just avoid these pitfalls. Like, <sighs> I want everybody to do better than me. <laughs> essentially um so until next time thank you guys for watching thumbs up and subscribe